Science is truly amazing, and every day it seems that the brilliant minds hard at work in laboratories and research facilities unveil more and more incredible discoveries. No matter the field or research area, there is no end to the mysteries of our world, and while scientists are constantly discovering answers to lingering scientific questions, they often end up with even more questions than they began with. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three of the most interesting recent discoveries that science has presented us with, and what questions they either answer or create. Moon Mountain in a Moat Planets are not the only cosmic entities that confound scientists with elusive mysteries. In fact, one of the most inscrutable bodies of the solar system can be found in Pluto's largest moon, Charon, which has interested scientists and researchers almost as much as the slightly larger dwarf planet that it orbits. Recently, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft has been able to capture photographs of Charon that have piqued the interest of scientists as early images revealed that there might be a lot more mysteries hidden on the moon than originally thought. In fact, due to an unexpectedly dark polar cap and a surface that suggests recent formations and relatively young geologic activity, researchers studying the image have said that, shockingly, the surface of Charon looks surprisingly more like a planet than Pluto itself. However, the most surprising image that was captured revealed an enormous crater on the otherwise fairly smooth lunar surface of Charon. Although there is evidence of other craters, crevices and cracks scattered around the moon, there is nothing even slightly approaching this massive indentation in size or scope. And what makes the region even more interesting is the fact that rising from the center of the enormous crater is a strangely majestic mountain. This strange feature has earned the name Mountain in a Moat and has raised questions as researchers attempted to discern how such an odd landmark came to be on a faraway moon orbiting a small dwarf planet such as Pluto. Although this mountain in a moat has only been observed through photographs so far, and closer analysis is difficult due to its position at some of the farthest reaches of the solar system, some observers have noticed similarities between Charon and Iapetus, a moon that orbits Saturn. Iapetus has a similar structure to the mountain in a moat observed on Charon, and currently researchers have made theoretical connections between the two in order to hypothesize as to what could have possibly caused such an odd landmark. Anne Verbissa, a team member with New Horizons, has noted that both moons have a mountain. Instances of icy volcanism and ground-based detection of ammonium hydrate along with cracks formed due to faults from potential lava tubes. Although it is anyone's guess as to what could have caused the cracks initially, Verbissa explains the other elements by saying that ammonia hydrate acts like antifreeze when mixed with water ice and can help with making cryovolcanic activities possible on bodies such as Charon and Iapetus. Ultimately, it seems that the lack of other craters on Charon combined with the cracks along its surface suggests that the moon could have once been a dynamically active world rather than a stagnant lump of rock simply orbiting Pluto. At any rate, scientists believe that there is no doubt that at one point in time the surface of Charon was much more active than it is now, even if that time was only a brief moment. Currently, the New Horizons team is carefully analyzing other images taken of Pluto and Charon by the New Horizons spacecraft in order to look for further clues as to how the mysterious landscape was formed and what it might mean for our understanding of the rest of the solar system. Physicists say that energy can be teleported. Sometimes some of the most interesting scientific breakthroughs are not physical breakthroughs at all, but rather theoretical conjectures about the nature of the universe from a quantum physics standpoint. One of these most recent conjectural propositions is incredibly interesting because it introduces the idea that energy might be able to be transported over expanses so great that the potential distance has no limit. However, this idea exists on a purely particular wavelength, rather than the entire science fiction notions of transporting bodies and spacecrafts across the cosmos. The researchers involved in this recent proposal, who work out of Tohoku University in Japan, are led by Masahiro Hotta, 
deal with the properties of entanglement experiments wherein particles with no apparent connection become joined to each other simultaneously. This element of quantum physics revolves around the properties of squeezed light or vacuum states that cause quantum energy created through the teleportation of particles to be made usable and is based in experiments conducted by Charlie Bennett in 1993 that demonstrated how to transfer quantum information between two points without the information having to travel across the intervening space. This became known as entanglement and is rooted in the idea that two particles essentially share the same existence so that any measurement taken from one particle identically influences the other particle, no matter how far apart they are. While these ideas have been widely studied since their introduction for the potential to transmit quantum information through teleportation, Otter took it one step further and theorized that you could extract the energy from particles through the teleportation process due to the quantum fluctuations that are found in the energy of every particle. This is theoretically possible because measurement of one quantum particle involved in quantum teleportation injects energy into the system which can then be harnessed as usable, teleported energy. Remarkably, the overall energy of the system would remain unchanged. Despite the fact that the current ideas surrounding these quantum entanglement and teleportation ideas are purely theoretical at the moment, the proposed principles are relevant to a large number of other fields dealing with quantum physics, including black hole physics and the quantum theory of Maxwell's demon. Although these ideas are certainly breakthroughs as far as energy transportation, previous experiments that implement these concepts have been conducted using light and matter particles, so it is likely only a matter of time before preliminary experiments are begun that explore the physical concepts of energy teleportation. For now, the ideas are simply that, ideas, and physicists are more concerned with the implications that Hotter's theories will have for how we are able to understand and explore the mysterious relationship between quantum information and quantum energy. Baby octopus grows hundreds of mysterious organs. Sometimes discoveries are made which scientists simply have no answer for. Recently, Researchers have been investigating octopuses and the strange phenomena that occurs when they are young. When it comes to humans and many other animal species, the organs that we are born with are the ones that we have all of our lives, albeit not without a fair amount of growth and development throughout the lifespan. However, it seems that baby octopuses do not adhere to these rules, not by a long shot. Before octopuses are born, they are covered in hundreds of tiny organs that spread across every surface of their bodies, including even the innermost nooks, crannies and pockets of skin. What is truly incredible is that these hundreds of organs are so small as to be microscopic and they are entirely temporary. Known as Kulika's organs, or KOs, they cover the skin of the baby octopus in a broom-like formation that occasionally appears to be a small, folded umbrella. These umbrella-like additions are all capable of opening and blooming into a dandelion of bristle fibers. And then, for reasons that remain entirely mysterious to scientists, these KOs disappear long before the octopus reaches adulthood, never to be seen again. Recently, a study was conducted that attempted to get to the bottom of the purpose of KOs and discern what advantage they imparted on the young octopus. They also discovered that each KO organism is a uniform size, and when they bloomed into their fully expanded size, they increased the overall surface area of the octopus by up to two-thirds. This has led researchers to hypothesize that the function of the KO has its roots in increasing the surface area of the octopus so that the surface-to-volume ratio also increases, which could prove useful when navigating the currents and even acting as a rudimentary propulsion mechanism for the young sea creatures. This would be useful for energy conservation and mobility but so far there is little evidence to confirm this function as the true purpose of the KOs. Another hypothesis that resulted from the careful study of the mysterious microscopic organs suggests that the bloomed KOs can refract the light that filters through the ocean waves in much the same way that a prism would do. This would make them harder to spot and act as a form of camouflage, which would be especially useful when they are so young and vulnerable. The study also found that many of these octopus species that made their home in the dark depths of the ocean where light does not often reach never develop KOs, further supporting the camouflage hypothesis as a light refracting mechanism would be useless at such dark depths. 
However, the study was unable to pin down the exact cause of these strange organs, and it seems that their purpose is a secret that science will keep for a while longer. But what do you make of these three discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.